um, this is kind of a different video to what I usually post. I wasn't really planning to post something like this at the moment, maybe down the track, but um, I wasn't planning on this right now, but I guess the reason why, okay, I'll get into it. So basically for the past 10 years or more, since I was about 14, I have had major anxiety issues and they did get really bad at one point um, when I was about 16, 17 and I couldn't, I had very low self-esteem and I was getting bullied and all those things, but within myself, I had very low self-esteem and lack of self-worth and all that sort of thing. And I dropped out of school. So back then I went to see a therapist, but I think I went once and I didn't like it. So um, I was on antidepressants or anxiety medication for a bit. I don't know if it worked. I can't remember. I remember I didn't stay on it very long. And then I moved to Canberra and then, anyway, my life happened and here I am. But my anxiety, I still haven't healed it or learned how to cope with it as best as I should be able to. That didn't make sense, but whatever. Um, so, basically... I have low self-esteem, low self-worth, um, I'm very insecure, um, I get irritable quite easily, um, I have sleeping issues, I let things bother me that shouldn't bother me, I take everything personally. If I annoy someone or upset someone, even if it's over something so small, I feel like my heart is breaking because of the guilt I feel. Like I just feel everything too much and I don't love myself, so I struggle to live a normal, happy life. I don't, I don't even know what I'm saying, which is exactly what anxiety is, I think. Um, so I have been, over the last maybe a year or so, working more on it. Um, I got found a love for fitness, so I'm trying to focus on that. I have the happiness planner journal so i'm working on the law of attraction journal and the confidence journal at the moment so i'm trying to get some thoughts out so i can reflect on them later i just mumbled sorry <laughs> um what else am i doing i've written out all my goals for this year and there's a lot of self-development goals and one of them which is why i'm making this video is to go seek external help so tomorrow after work i'm going to see a psychologist that is actually covered by work sorry the dog's going crazy outside it's actually covered by work i think i get up to six sessions for free and then i can figure out if i want to keep going or maybe i can find a different one um it, i've never been one to want to see someone professionally i am very uncomfortable with it I don't like the idea of talking to a stranger about my life and my feelings because I am not comfortable with them. Obviously, I don't know them. We don't have a bond. And I'm also worried about getting someone that I can't relate to or can't relate to me. My ideal person would be someone of a similar age or maybe the next generation up and a female. So I know that they've been through similar things and we can relate, whereas someone much older they, their experience when they were my age was a lot different. So that's something that's always put me off, but obviously it doesn't necessarily matter their gender and their age because they're qualified. But in my head, I'm just like, no, I, it has to be the perfect person. Otherwise, no. Anyway, I'm just rambling right now. Sorry. Um, but, but yeah, I've never been one to consider seeing a psychologist ever. Um, you can ask... Uh, my friend Steph, uh, we've been talking about it for a long time and I didn't really consider consider thinking about it until late last year. Um, and even then I was still not sure. But now that I started this new job and I see that they offer these sessions and they're covered, the first six are covered, I'm just like, you know what, I just should try it out. It can't hurt. I don't have to keep going if it doesn't work for me if I'm, if I'm uncomfortable. Um... But I'm hoping to get some guidance at least from them. They might not necessarily help me like the way I want to be helped, but they can give me guidance on what I should do. If I need to go on medication, they might be able to suggest something. I'm very open to ideas. I think I might need medication, to be honest. Not that I like want, 
like the idea of being on medication every day for years and years if it's something that's going to help me and it's something that I can keep my anxiety levels down while I'm working on building my confidence and self-love then I'm open to it so basically I wanted to make this video mostly for myself obviously if someone can relate and they want to talk about things that will be amazing and I'm always happy to talk to people especially if they need someone to talk to we can go through our own journeys together I would love that but I also want this video as part one of my anxiety healing and hopefully I continue with this because I tend to get off track and then I have kind of a breakdown and I have to start all over again but I don't want to get to that point anymore because I have started to take care of myself a lot better than I used to and I want to keep it that way I hate when I hit my lows because I'm not exercising I'm not eating well um, I sabotage friendships and relationships and things like that so I want to stay in this semi-positive place I am right now so I want this video to for myself so I can reflect back on as I go through this journey and I'm obviously going to have setbacks nothing's going to be perfect and nothing's going to happen straight away or like I could go up for a bit and then obviously I'm going to have downs but that's okay it's all part of it but I just want to, I guess, reflect on how I'm feeling at the moment. And, you know, I could love seeing someone. And then in six months time, I could ref refer back to this video and be like, I can't believe I ever doubted the power of getting external help. Like, I just, this is basically a reflection video for me. I'm sure you already caught that drift, but... Um, yeah, I wasn't sure if I was going to make something like this, but I think it's a good idea. Especially in like 10 years, I could be super happy and I can look back and, and I'll just pinpoint the time where I'm just, I took that step to get to where I am in my future life. Does that make sense? <laughs> um, yeah, I wasn't sure. But even if this someone can relate to this and needs to talk or wants to chat about their journey that would be awesome as well um so tomorrow night around this time i don't even know what time it is i'll be done by now but yeah in a day i would have had my first session and i have no idea how it's going to go i i'm saying it out loud now which i don't normally say out loud or admit to myself or to those around me but i'm scared of this because I don't even know why I just don't want to get emotional I don't want to open up to someone that can't help me I don't know I honestly don't know I'm just scared but I'm also very optimistic and I'm excited to help myself and move forward and somehow figure out a way to build my self-esteem and self-love and self-worth and all that because it's very low even though you might not think that from other videos <laughs> So this is part one. I will, I guess, provide updates of everything else of my journey. And yeah, I hope my future self can reflect on this and be proud that I took this step because I think doing it myself is not going to cut it anymore. I've tried for almost 10 years, especially a lot the last year or so. But yeah, um... I'm feeling okay at the moment. I haven't really thought about it, to be honest. I probably will think about it a lot tomorrow and be I'll probably be anxious about going to the appointment, ironically. Um, I am in a, an okay place at the moment, better than I normally am, but that could change. So I'm hoping, yeah, I'm just hoping I can get some help to move upwards rather than downwards or backwards, whatever. And if I need medication or whatever to help me, then I'm definitely open to that because I just want to feel better and more grateful and happier over the things that matter and the little things. Because um, when I have highs or when I have any sort of happy feeling, it doesn't last very long and I feel like that's not normal. So anyway, I'm rambling. 
hopefully I learned to control the rambling because it's probably an anxiety related issue um, but yeah so I will probably post a video later in the week or maybe next week on how my session went and how I felt and if I'm going to continue or not okay bye <laughs>